I've got here, you know, as a source of audio um, coming into the Barracks in streamer. And what I'm going to show here is how to uh, listen to it with VLC Media Player uh, using an HTTP, an internet radio format, okay? So on the in-streamer here, you'll see what I've done is I've set it to internet radio. I've left this blank. Um, on the VLC side, I'll show you, I'm going to use the IP address of the in-streamer itself here, which is 114, okay? Um, and then again, I'll show you, I, let, I use port 80, because then that way I don't actually have to type that in. Port 80 is always assumed with HTTP. Um, and then the radio path X stream is what I'm going to use. And you'll see this, how it works, and then you can change that if you want. On the audio side, um, again, with VLC Media Player, the MPEG codecs work all good with VLC. You can use uh, 8 kilohertz ULAW when doing RTP and UDP feeds, but not HTTP. So for now, since I'm doing internet radio, uh, i got to use one of these MPEG codecs here, okay? And then I'm going to use a constant bit rate at 128 kilobit on those settings as well, too. You, again, you, you can use variable rates or anything, but for VLC, I use a constant bit rate. Um, and then let me start up VLC down here, and we'll set it up to listen to this. So we're going to open up media. Um, it's going to be a network capture. Now, again, if you're going to do an RTP or UDP feed, I have other videos on that. You want to hit this button to set that up. But for the internet radio feed, I'm going to type it in, okay, HTTP, and then forward slash, forward slash. Um, and then again, I'm going to use the IP address. You can put a domain, uh, a URL in there, if again, but remember, you're going to have to, that involves, um, you know, your router and your logs being able to send you to the right domain name here. If you're on a network, you, I think it's easier just to use the IP address of the box where it's at. That was my in-streamer address. And again, port 80 um, is assumed, so I don't have to put anything in there. If you change from port 80, you would have to put a colon with a port number in there. Um, and then remember my path was X stream and you can change the lettering on that as well too on your in streamer side if you want. I'll show you all this. So let me open up this stream so we can hear it. See how it buffered there? See, See that's an internet radio feed. So remember there's buffering on there and packet checking. There's a little delay on that audio. If you don't want any delay on the audio or you want to use the ULAW codec, then what you can do is go back and change it to G711 ULAW or whatever and use the UDP or RTP codecs. You can use MPEG with RTP and UDP, but again, you have to understand the HTTP feed and what that is. Okay, so remember, um, I'm at IP address 114, okay, and I just left this blank, and then I left it on port 80. Again, if I change this, say, to like 5,000 or 8,000 or something, then I do have to put that on the VLC side after the IP address. But you see here, you should get a good idea then of how that works. <laughs> 